so hi everyone so in this session you are going to learn how to change the mysql data directory location from one drive to another so this is the most important activity that dba has to do after mysql installation so why we need to do this activity so we'll take some uh, real time scenarios so whenever mysql data directory uh, disk full then you may have to change the data directory location to another location so this uh, one scenario so another scenario is uh, like uh, mysql provides the data directory in c drive by default if uh, if whole server corrupted then sysadmin can recover the data from other than c drive they cannot uh, give 100% uh, assure for c drive data so it is not recommended to put the data directory in c drive so let's do this activity so before going to move uh, move uh, let's check the present mysql data directory location so i'm going to log into workbench so just type show global variables like data directory So here it is. So it was there in C programming data, MySQL, MySQL 5.7 data. So let's go to the, this directory. So before going to change the directory, uh, I'm going to stop the service. Just click on stop button so it's going to stop so once uh, it is successfully stopped then we have to uh, create a new data directory in uh, uh, any other uh, drive so i'm going to do it in uh, d drive So creating MySQL data so I have created a new folder called MySQL data so just copy this part and now uh, go to that uh, present MySQL data directory path So this is where we have uh, present data directory it is. So we need to copy this data of entire whole data directory to uh, that newly created uh, folder. So this is a new directory path. So just uh, copy the uh, path so before going to copy path uh, just take the uh, my.cnfi uh, backup so whenever you want to change the uh, uh, my.cnf file so you must take the uh, backup of the my uh, my.cnf file so i'm going to open it in uh, notepad plus plus so go to data directory so here i'm going to put new data directory and existed one i'm making a comment so new directory path is on this one d colon mysql data and data so here it is just save it so once uh, my.cnf change is done then go to just mysql service and uh, i'm going to uh, change the logon type so go to login so i'm going to click on local system account so this is especially for mysql uh, permissions so instead of that i can uh, give the permission for network uh, service itself so to avoid that one uh, i'm giving uh, for local system
so it just restart the service after this so it has been successfully restarted so go to newly created path so i'm going to log into my sql workbench so let's run the uh, same command what uh, i have learned uh, previously so global variables like data directory see it has been updated so to check uh, we can create a sample uh, schema also a name called test schema this what so just check it in a newly created path see test has been created so this the uh, uh, active this the steps how we have to do the mysql uh, data directory changes in windows so thank you everyone thank you for watching this video